Hello dear followers of Aria Trader. In this tutorial, we will be talking about one of the most important types of charts using technical analysis to display support and resistance, momentum and trend in one view. In technical analysis, these patterns signal the transition in the trends. From beginners to professionals, chart patterns play an integral part when looking for market trends and predictive movements. They can be used to analyze all markets, including forex, shares, commodities, etc. In this part of the video, we will be talk about the Ichomiko cloud means, components of this cloud, how this indicator works, what does it tell you, its difference with moving errors, and finally its limitations. So without losing any time, let's start with the introduction. What is Ichimoku Cloud? The Ichimoku Cloud is a collection of a technical indicator that shows supporting resistance levels as well as momentum and trend direction. It does this by taking multiple averages and plotting them on a chart. It also uses these figures to compute a cloud that attempts to forecast where the price may find support and resistance in the future. The Ichimiki Cloud was developed by Gochi Hosada, a Japanese journalist, and published in the late 1960s. It provides more data points than standard candlestick charts. While it seems complicated at first glance, those familiar with how to read the charts often find it easy to understand with well-defined trading signals. The Ichimiki Cloud is a type of chart using technical analysis to display support and resistance, momentum and trend in one view. Tenkan-sen and Kinshu-sen are similar to moving averages and analyze in relationship to one another. When the shorter term indicator, Tenkan-sen rises above the longer term indicator, Kinshu-sen, the secure trend is typically positive. When Tenkan Sen falls below Kiju Sen, the security trend is typically negative. Tenkan Sen and Kiju Sen as a group are then analyzed in relation to the cloud, which is composed of area between Senku A and Senku B. Here we provide a brief breakdown of these four components. The Tenkan Sen is calculated by the sum of the highest high and the lowest low divided by two. The default setting is 9 periods. The Kijo Sen standoff of baseline is based on the same formula as the Tenkan Sen, but the default here is 26 periods. The Chico Span represents the current closing price time shifted backwards 26 periods. The Kumo consists of two lines, the Senko Spans A and B. The former one is calculated by adding Tengsan Sen and Kijo Sen and then divided by 2, shifted towards 26 periods. The later represents the highest high plus lowest low divided 2 for the last 52 periods, also shifted 26 periods in the future. How this indicator works? When Tengsan Sen and Kijo Sen are decidedly above the clot, the issue's trend is positive. When Tenkan Sen and Kijo Sen are decidedly below the cloud, the issue trend is negative, using the cloud to determine trend. When prices are above the cloud, the trend is up. When prices are below the cloud, the trend is down. When Sendeu A is rising and above Sendeku B, the uptrend is strengthening. When Sendeku A is falling and below Sendeku B, the down trend is strengthening. A buy signal is reinforced when the Tenkan Sen crosses above the Kijo Sen, while the Tenkan Sen, Kijo Sen and price are all above the clouds. A sell signal is reinforced when the Tenkan Sen crosses below the Kijo Sen, while the Tenkan Sen, Kijo Sen and price are all below the clouds. What does Ichimoku cloud tell you? The technical indicator shows relevant information at a glance by using averages. The overall trend is up when the price is above the cloud, down when the price is below the cloud, and trendless or transitional when the price is in the cloud. 
When leading span A is rising and above leading span B, this helps to confirm the uptrend and the space between the lines is typically colored green. When leading A is falling and le below leading B, this helps confirm the downtrends. The space between the lines typically color red in this case. Traders will often use Ichimoku cloud as an area of support and resistance depending on the relative location of the price. The cloud provides support resistance level that can be projected into the future. This says the Ichimoku cloud apart from many other technical indicators that only provide support and resistance levels for the current date and time. Traders should use Ichimoku cloud in conjunction with other technical indicators to maximize their risk-adjusted returns. For example, the indicator is often paired with the relative strength index which can be used to confirm momentum in a certain direction. It is also important to look at the bigger trends to see how the smaller trends fit within them. For example, during a very strong downtrend, the price may push into the cloud or slightly above it, temporarily before falling again. Only focusing on the indicator would mean missing the bigger picture that the price was under strong longer-term selling pressure. Crossovers are another way that the indicator can be used. Watch for the conversation line to move above the baseline, especially when the price is above the clouds. This can be a powerful buy signal. One option is to halt the trade until the conversation line drops back below the baseline. Any of other lines could be used as exit points as well. The difference between the Ichamiki cloud and moving averages. While the Ichamiki cloud uses averages, they are different than a typical moving average. Simple moving averages take closing prices, add them up, and divide that total by how many closing prices there are. In a time period, moving average, the closing prices for the last 10 periods are added, then divided by a 10 to get the average. Notice how the calculations for the Ichamiki cloud are different. They are based on highs and lows over a period and then divided by 2. Therefore, Ichimoku averages will be different than traditional moving averages, even if the same number of periods are used. One indicator is not better than another. They just provide information in different ways. Limitation of using the Ichimoku cloud. The indicator can make a chart look busy with all the lines. To remedy this, most charting software allows certain lines to be hidden. For example, all of the lines can be hidden except for leading A and leading span B, which relate the clouds. Each trader needs to focus on which lines provide the most information, then consider hiding the rest if all of the lines are distracting. Another limitation of the Ichomaki cloud is that it is based on historical data. While two of these data points are plotted in the future, there is nothing in the formula that is inherently predictive. Averages are simply being plotted in the future. The cloud can also become irrelevant for long periods of time as the price remains way above or way below it. It seems like this, the conversation line, the baseline and their crossovers become more important as they generally stick closer to the price. For more information, please do not forget to visit ariatrader.com and follow up our other social media accounts to discover the benefits of artificial intelligence in your transactions. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.